So the Divine Recovery Center is really a peer-to-peer -peer model program. It fits perfectly in with what Gavin Foundation does. Research has shown that peer support services are effective in um, preventing relapse with adults particularly and having programs like this in the community where people can socialize and have that human connection with other people can help. It's an awesome day here at the DRC celebrating life and recovery together on a summer day. Divine Recovery Center is a constant movement and um, people at different stages in recovery coming in to seek different types of support. Maybe the first time a member comes in it's to find out if they're eligible for certain programs, um, to use a computer, to do job search, uh, to grab a cup of coffee before a meeting, play pool, play whist, and get to know other people. And slowly, I've seen over working here um, how it changes and evolves. Um, they for, usually will form a network and form ties with people from other um, facilities, from other neighborhoods, who all come here for the common goal of to continue to grow in recovery. When I first got sober, they didn't have nothing like this. And I didn't know what to do with myself. And I actually struggled with that for a long time. So like now that there is places like this, it gives you a safe place to go when you don't know what to do with yourself, when there's no meetings going on. If you don't have to sit by yourself, you don't have to go home or walk the streets. Like you can actually come here and have coffee and talk to staff, other members, and it's like a family. It's made me grow in so many ways that I didn't think I had it in me. Like, my profession growing up was doing construction. And now I, I found a different side of me that I never had. Now I'm involved in running sober living. I <laughs> help take care of a whole bunch of sober houses. And this place is what really gave me the strength. The members here are always looking for ways to give back to the community. And I think that that in the bigger picture is what's important. You know, learning how to live in society in recovery and then learning how to be an asset to the community. This program's helped me in many ways, especially this recovery setup. Everybody's going through the same struggle. I don't know if you can ever say that you will fully recover. I think I'll be in recovery for the rest of my life. And I feel like I owe it to this program to give back. The amount of money it takes to operate the center and the amount of people that come to the recovery center daily is, is remarkable. I mean, the, the center gets, uh, you know, 40 to 60 people a day in and out of the front door for various meetings and activities that go on Monday through Friday, a little less on the weekends in the 20s, um, but it's important for those 20 people that we stay open because that's when they're most vulnerable. So we really feel that the recovery center has played an integral role in uh, community responsibility, community recovery supports, and they have a real, a real model of success. My biggest hope for the Divine Recovery Center is that everybody feels a sense of belonging and inspiration from each other and that everybody that walks through these doors will have that continued support and that eventually by working together we can erase the stigma attached to people in recovery.